can't forget Haru's me. his daughter. He can't just treat her like something he owns. As Phantom Thieves, it's our duty to punish him. Uh, let's see. Houseplant. Oh. Hey, houseplant. Uh, mega fertilizer. Yeah. Please be enough kindness. Oh. You're going to use that one? You must really care about that plant. Please be enough kindness. Please be enough kindness. Son of a bitch. All right. oh. That should do it for a while. <sighs> okay, um, well, nothing to do, right? Hey. Yeah. Okay. I want to help Paro. Won't you help me? Yes. Now, if I look at the guide I've been following, I don't think we actually touch Akumara for, like, the whole goddamn month. Holy crap, that's cutting it close. Close. Actually, puts it all the way to the end. People are starting to wonder when the next calling card is going to show up. We should send it soon. Faru's sold off. Our failure will, sh will sully the Phantom Thieves' name. Okay. So, mission start. I just want to take a look at a couple of things. Reach the treasure, send the calling card. Yeah, it really is pushed out that far. That is nonsense. Alright, sure. I mean... I don't... My initial instinct is just to immediately do stuff. Let's let's see if we end up with an open Let's pair of days that we can't do anything. Because if we end up with days that we can't do anything, I might as well just uh, do other stuff. Okay. Uh, so making just making sure. Just checking in, but you're not having any side effects, are you? Well, as long as you're healthy, bye. Okay, so we can hang out with Takemi. Change the target's heart. Okay, palace. Decide later. Okay. And we gotta... Oh, right. Okay, so we already have the... Um, if I do read? Oh, no, I can't read. Can I check my, like, items? Snack pack... Where are my books? Do we have books here? Here we are. Okay, so we already have the Master Swordsman, so that's good. So we gotta go to the Shibuya Arcade. Because we gotta we gotta work on that memento. Have I used the laptop yet? Yes, I have. Okay, so we're we want to talk to the Angry Gamer. Hey, uh, we've met before, haven't we? That makes us friends, right? You think you can lend me some money? Hey, you can't just ha ask random people for money. Give it up already. You already spent all your money trying to beat Nejima. Fine. So what do you want? Uh, do you know anything about King? King? Of course I know about him. You're talking about the King of Akabara, right? He's just an el uh, in elementary school, but he's a real pro at playing Gunabout. He's only a damn grade schooler. He has to be a cheater, too. I hear that he actually plays his, the Gigolo Arcade in the Kiba. He's actually really good at Gunabout. People can tell from the way he moves. You might be able to find him during the day. Elementary kids can't get the, into arcades at night. So you might be at the Gigolo Arcade in Akibara, eh? Well, let's head there and see this king. Alright, so we've already got the other thing. So yeah, we want to go to the Akibara. I don't know where Akibara is. Akibara! Hey, Electric Town. Okay. I don't remember any of these things. Okay, so we already grabbed all this stuff. Oh, that's the maid cafe. Don't care about that. I just want to make sure I have all of the, all of the items. Welcome. Looks like I do. Okay, so let's just head for the arcade. If I... Oh, right. I'm standing right next to it. Okay, so we can have quick travel here. Gigolo Arcade. Why is it called that? You can guess why it's called that. Who's that kid? He's amazing. That's the king. Oh, I've heard about him. He's just a little guy, huh? Must be in grade school. He's wielding? Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself. It's still too easy for him. Well, I guess that's that. What a monster. The king may have some tips on how to defeat that cheater. I should negotiate with him. What do you want? He looks like Mishima, but scaled down a little bit. Oh, teach me some tricks. 
Nah, sounds like too much work. I don't don't take it personal. I turn everyone down later. There's an invincible player. Invincible guy, huh? Oh, you mean the guy who cheats, right? It really makes me mad when he does that. I don't but I can you. still beat him, so I don't really care. Just forget about him. I won't let the bad guys win. Uh -huh. You sound like the Phantom Thieves. So, you're saying you want to beat the cheater. You seem like a nice guy, but just let it go. The Phantom Thieves are really cool, aren't they? Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? I saw their first success. Oh, you mean at Shujin Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But, um, te teaching you how to play Gunabout won't be easy. And I won't get anything out of it. Let's make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know? How about this? I want to get to know the Phantom Thieves. It's probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. Well, what do you say? Is it a deal? Let's do it. Whoa, seriously? Well, if you really want to that much, then I thought you, you were just going to give up. Oh, I didn't see this coming. But the Phantom Thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? What's your name? Huh? You're going to tell them my name? My name's Shinya Oda. Hey. Tell the Phantom Thieves my name, and have them post it somewhere only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough as an autograph, and proof they know my name. Huh. Proof that you really know the Phantom Thieves, huh? We need something credible for the kid to believe us. Didn't Futaba say she's hacked into Gunabout server or something? Let's bring this up with her. Might lead us to some good ideas. Alright. Oh, that's easy enough. Uh, so we don't have anything else here, so let's go back to... Shib... Yongen Leblanc. There we go. I can do this properly. Ish. But yeah, he's a... He's an alternate social link. I never noticed Futaba. Oh, the reason why I never see Futaba when I go by is because she matches the goddamn... Her hair matches the brick brickwork and her pants match the street corner. That is actually really amusing. You found the king? No surprise there. So, did he tell you how to take down that cheater? No. He's going to, on one condition. He wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give ourselves away, though. That's where you come in. Maybe you could hack into the Gunabout server and do something. Hmm? But we won't be able to get in touch with him that way. Uh, we could send him a calling card. A calling card? What are we going to steal? Oh, yeah. oh, how about the home page? I already hacked into it, so it's as good as stolen. Okay, I'll write a calling card saying that we're going to steal the Gunabout homepage. After that, you'll need to leave evidence that the Phantom Thieves hacked into it. The King will have no choice but to believe it was really us. Ooh, this sounds kind of fun. I'll put our logo smack dab in the top of the front page. Perfect, we'll go see the King. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him. So, wait for our word to start the hacking. Alright, All right, you can count on me. I... Do we just go back to him? I... I guess we do. Alright, sure, why not? Hey, kid, we messed with your game. Hey. The fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask Futaba to do the hacking? Contact her. I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. It'll be fine, leave it to me. Okay, hacking in now. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Calling card? Huh? Ah, there's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh, is... is this for real? I mean, you can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site! Which means... 
You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves. No way. How'd you do it? Secret exchange. Oh, that's so cool. So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. His instructions are precise, but also Spartan-like. The king's swearing up a storm today. That's what happens when he teams up with another player. And why everyone also watches him from a distance. Alright, looks like you kinda got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves too. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal. Oh, there is a Jack Frost doll and a bunch of other things there. That's cool. I like that. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the tower persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Okay, I have to say this right now. I just looked it up. I love to look up voice actors, and this is something really, really nuts. So I looked up the voice actress because uh, Shinya Oda is voiced by a woman. And I looked up, hey, who voiced this, uh, who voiced this young child? Because it sounded like Laharl. I thought it was Laharl. Because it's got that same, like, eh. Uh, for the, uh, for the voice. It's fucking... Rita Repulsa is this small child. I, I don't know if any of you guys ever watched uh, Power Rangers. I don't know how many people are old enough for that. But, uh, it's R Rita Repulsa from the, uh, from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What? <laughs> I did not expect that in the slightest. Holy shit. Uh, she's been in a lot of other things, but that was the one I found. And I was just like, wait a second. No, it's like legit Rita Repulsa. She was also, um... Oh, a couple other uh, people, if I go back to the list. Uh, <laughs> Lady Vosh in World of Warcraft. Let's see. Anybody... Any other, like... Oh, she was Chio in Naruto. Uh, anything else that we, like, would recognize? Not really, but mainly... Rita Repulsa, which I... What? That was a complete surprise. Wow. Okay. All right. It's earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. Interacting with Shinya has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased. Ah, crap, that actually means I, I need to hang out with him. 
All right. Hey, and kindness went up, didn't it? Did it level up? I hope it leveled up. It might not have. I was not. I was not paying attention. Turns out Birdcatcher has been advertising his channel. Ah, you're back. Please excuse me for messaging you so late in the evening. I truly apologize for what has happened in this case. So far, well, she seems to be particularly consci uh, a particularly conscientious person. Feels like that formality is putting some distance between us, though. We're teammates, Haru. But I'm the newest member. I need to act respectfully. We don't pay mind to those kinds of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Thank you, Mako-chan. Do you mean me? Sorry, I think my uh, fingers typed that in subconsciously. I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Not a problem. That personal touch is actually refreshing. Great! I hope we can be the bestest of friends, Ma Mako-chan. Uh, sorry about that. Got sort of carried away. Of course. Uh, let's see. So who do we who do we even have? Like I was so out of the loop going to Hawaii, kind of messed with things. Okay, so we, oh <laughs> oh, it's just Mishima. I was like, holy crap! How do people want to hang out with me? But no, it's just it's just Mishima that wants to hang out with me. You saved the movie theater in Yagen. Nobody's threatening that old couple with eviction anymore. And if the land speculators aren't coming by, then they can actually start showing movies there again. Yeah. It might be a good place to go see a movie. You should invite someone there uh, you like sometime. About the stalker. So that delusional stalker from the blog had a change of heart. She even apologized online and everything. You don't know who she is, right? Why don't you go check on her? Yeah. You got them. Nice work. You opposed the guys but exposed the guys behind the bullying. Heard both of them ended up turning themselves into the teachers. Things should be peaceful at school from now on. Well done. Yeah. Looks like the double change of heart was a massive success. Keep up the good work. Blackmailing manager. Hey, it looks like the manager was blackmailing that student confessed and got fired. The student ended up get, quitting his part-time job there too. Uh, apparently company HQ tried to offer him money to keep quiet, but he couldn't just accept that. Still, he was really moved by what the Phantom Thieves did. I quote, I quote, I can't believe they wanted to help solve a nothing high schoolers' problems. I'm even happy hearing that. Yeah. We really did a great job this time. Hearing how touched the student was, was an added bonus too. I guess there really all are, uh, there really are all sorts of hidden away, uh, desires hidden away in the dark corners of the mementos. Sorry, I'm like sinking into my chair, my mic arm's in the way. Okay, so research pro progress. My progress on the new move is progressing nicely, thanks to you. However, I can't get myself in the mood to play Shogi today. If it's not too much to ask, would you mind joining me on a break? Okay. Let's decide later on this. Apparently, Rito Repulsa is also Laharl. Then why is it not on IMDB? Okay, so it is. So it is Laharl, then. That's fascinating. I... Holy shit, Rito Repulsa is Laharl. Good for her. That's actually a really good way uh, to kind of continue your career in a cool way. Yeah, I, I looked it up and it, it looked like Valhara was voiced by someone else, but I guess I'm wrong. Huh. That is, it is Barbara Goodson. Neat. Yeah, I guess my go my Google Foo uh, mid cutscene was a little bit limited. Okay, so who can we hang out with, actually? Okay, so we maxed out Yoshida. We could level up Sojiro, Oya, uh, Hifumi. Um, what are my social stats? How do I even find them? Oh, there we go. Social stats. Damn it, my kindness is still three. I... I guess let's go... Let's go hang out with Oya. How many episodes of this do I have backed up? Uh, I have two. I actually ran... I run out of my backlog on this game very often. Just because I don't stream it that often, because it's not nearly as popular as, like, half my other series. 
This thing's a lot of content. I'm sure it's worth the money. Hell yeah, it's worth the money. You sure come here a lot. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, there you are. So you won't believe how weird the chief's been acting. Sit down so I can give you the details. Now, take a seat. So the chief reduced my quota. He even apologized to me. He said he's been concerned for my health, which is actually kind of creepy now that I think about it. Anyway, that's not all. He said he's letting me reopen my investigation into what happened to Kayo. He told me he wants me to do everything I can to pursue the truth. I think he was serious. I wonder what happened to make him change so suddenly. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right person so I don't accidentally say the wrong thing and waste time. Okay, I think we're here. He reflected on his actions. What? Just out of the blue? This whole thing's too convenient. Seems a little fishy, you know? I mean, you asked me for the chief's name the other day, right? Did I? Can't remember. Hmm. Why are you giving him such a hard time? Aren't you gonna tell him the other good news? I... I know where Kayo is. That was part of the chief's apology to me. Apparently he did some investigating on his own. So he followed up on my journalist friend's source and, well, it turns out she really is alive after all. I... Glad to hear that. This is incredible news. So where is she? A mental hospital. That explains why she hasn't been able to contact me this whole time. I really want to go see her, but to be honest, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to know the truth. Not just about Kaio's current state, but about what happened to her that night, too. You need to pursue the truth. I know that. Honestly, I shouldn't be afraid to face the truth I've been chasing for so long, but I am. I won't let that stop me, though. I'll fulfill my promise and find out what happened to Kaio. I'm gonna go see her, no matter what happens. I need to see this through to the end. Otherwise, I won't be Ichiko Oya, journalist extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm really glad I talked to you about this. I never would have made my mind up without your help. But, you know, you're way more than just some high school kid. You're almost like my guidance counselor. Devil persona rank up. Those are some weird ass titties. All right. Seriously, the weird tit cards are confusing me. Oh, by the way. Everything with the Chief worked out okay, but the higher-ups are still keeping an eye on me. So, I'll need you to keep coming up with juicy tidbits. I can't stop writing about the Phantom Thieves now. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you have for me today. I'm in I enthralled Oya with stories about the Phantom Thieves. I feel like my charm has increased. Uh, I need a fair amount of... Oh! My charm is maxed out. I'm a right. debonair. Well, Deb Debonair? 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 Freaking... I assume it's French. I, I feel like someday I should read, like, a French novel, but butcher every word as hard as possible. Like... Super English. Right. Let's grab a bite after school. I do have some Big Bang coupons. Big Bang Burger coupons, but we probably shouldn't go there anymore, huh? Uh, no. I hear you'll have a psychotic breakdown if you eat there. I mean, haven't all of Okamura's enemies died in strange ways? Maybe he feeds them poisoned burgers. What a monster. You know, I voted for Okamura on the fan site. The Phantom Thieves had a duty to punish bad people, so I hope they take care of him soon. Debonair. A man of confident, uh, confident, stylish, and charming. Yeah, figured as much. Okay, so it is the 20th. I'm just gonna shift things around here. Okay, so it wants me to go to the library. Sometimes I feel like I'm uh, on remote control, but sometimes I forget about this stuff too. Okay. So we do have Cry of Cthulhu. Did I finish the illusionary popus? I check. Is there where to? Oh, I bet if I can, I just like read in here. Reading table. Okay, so 
Which one do I have? Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever actually got any of these. Yeah, so I already finished the illusory popus. So we got Cry of Cthulhu and Woman in the Dark. Okay, so might as well pick that one up for whatever reason. Okay, wait, there's literally... Okay, hold on. So, um, I... We're gonna take a bit of a detour here because, uh, things have been happening in my twi Twitch chat that I think I have to address. Um, so my good buddy Birdcatcher... Holy shit. Uh, my bud... Uh, my bud... Buddy, Budman, uh, <laughs> the Budcatcher, uh, Birdcatcher, has shown up in chat and he was asking, uh, I'm, I'm gonna read the quote because it was good. Uh, let me see if I can find it. On a scale of Mr. Burns to Mr. Rogers, what does three kindness mean? And somebody responds with Mr. Clean. Nice, but still kind of creepy. And they keep describing it, but, um... <laughs> uh, but, so apparently Mr. Clean actually has a backstory. There, there's some, like, chat-based evolution on this one. Uh, but... I, 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 I'm putting the brakes on so we can read this together. And experience this together, because... Holy shit, why is there a backstory for Mr. Clean? The origin of Mr. Clean. Where does a man so clean, with so many muscles, and such a bald head come from? Many stories have been told over the years. Some say he was a genie, others a sailor, sailor. but this is the story most often told. It was early one summer morning, when a farmer set out to tend his field, as he'd done every morning for more years than he could remember. But this wouldn't just be another morning, because it was on this morning that he looked down to find, cleaning his front steps, a small, sturdy baby with a remarkably shiny bald head. He was the cutest, cleanest baby the farmer and his wife had ever seen, and so they decided to adopt the little guy as their own. Mr. Clean learned to be the best at what you do. You need to work, uh, to be the best at what you do. You need to work harder than anybody else. Hard work pays off. Mr. Clean's parents were hard-working folks who lived the motto, if something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. It's with that work ethic and his natural love for cleaning that Mr. Clean set out across the globe on a mission to become the best, toughest, hardest working cleaner in history. After years of research, Mr. Clean finally wrote The Encleanopedia, a chronicle of his adventures and everything he'd learned about cleaning. That book eventually found its way into the hands of a company called Procter & Gamble, who knew they'd found the man who had changed the way people clean forever. For Mr. Clean, it was a dream come true. The adventure continues. Now is the face of his very own cleaning brand. Mr. Clean embodies everything that makes his pot products so special. He's tough, fearless, inventive, helpful, and has the muscle to knock out dirt, grease, and grime, no matter where it's hiding. This video brought to you not by Mr. Clean, but in fact, Birdcatcher Games. This is all your damn fault. Okay, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I can't believe they actually wrote that. I'm glad they did, though. That is magic bullshit. All right, uh, so who are we hanging out with today? I think we're gonna try and hang out with Nijima. Can I? I think I have enough kindness. I should write something. All right, let's save one way or another. <laughs> Shit, if people want to find more bullshit backstories for, like, advertising things, I am... 100% down with reading them, I guess. Holy shit, I was not expecting that at all. There's also a video, yes, but I, I don't think I can I don't think I can play that without getting in trouble. Where's Nijima? Maybe she's in the um student council room, probably. Characters that have no right to a deep backstory generally have the deepest backstory. Hell yeah! Makoto! Hey! Let's see. Hang out? Wait, no, I, I can look up. I, I can look this up. Pri priestess. Uh, what do we need to hang out with her? Max charm required. Yep, got max charm. Let's hang out. At a time like this? I guess if that's really what you want to do, is this part of your grand strategy? Okay, so it's Actually, the same stuff. Oh, sorry. Oh, right, we already read this a long time ago and found out that we couldn't do it. So she told me that my boyfriend isn't in the same league as her Sukasa. 
I think she'll change her mind once she sees you in person. Don't worry, I'll back you up. Alright, should I access Makoto's boyfriend and go to meet Eiko? I feel like my bond with, uh, yes. Oh, wait, let's decline for a second. We don't have the persona for her, do we? Nope. Well, taking a bit of a pay, taking a bit of a detour. I really wish I could just go to the velvet room real quickly. That'd be wonderful. Oh well. Wander, read about the origins of chlorine gas. No. That's messed up. Master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It requires the cooperation of the Phantom Thieves, who stand against ordeals in the hidden world. It's a special fusion called Public Execution. Apparently, luck plays a great role in this ritual. It will determine what form your new persona takes. Additionally, I have heard that there are some special powers only attainable through this method. Basically, whether or not you make good use of it is up to you. You better devote yourself, inmate. The development of rituals is now complete, but your rehabilitation shall continue onward. Keep pushing forward toward that ultimate goal. Okay, so we have a public execution. I'll go uh, how do we do the this? Needs our guidance. Is it fusion? Oh, network fusion. To a world beyond this. Oh one. my God, is this just? Is this the? Is this like Wonder Trade, but for killing personas off? That's kind of amazing, actually. All right, uh, so let's like see who I can register. Registration. Not much has changed. Are you sure? Okay, Kaiwan hasn't changed. You'd like to register Apart from EXP. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally lose like an ability. Like a good Are one. You sure? Are It'd you be sure? kind of a shame if I squandered somebody. Are you Always sure? register Thanatos. He, I think he's getting close to leveling up here. Are you sure? Yeah, so this is one where I don't want to level up the Picasso, because mine mine is better. Same, same with her. Okay. Uh, so now that we do that, let's create new personas. We can itemize. Who can we itemize for what? Uh, I can make... Well, let's use a Picasso for the Headhunter label. Or, Headhunter ladle. Because I don't need the Picasso, and uh, he doesn't have the abilities that I want. So I might as well pick this up. Okay. Pauzuka. Oh, that's amusing. Uh, we also have, like, Recarm, but that's not really that useful. And we can't do Death Contract, but that's kind of okay, because I don't think I care. Red Yarn Ball. It appears it will become something protected. Wait, auto? No, that's useless. I guess it'll give you some protection. Let's see. I don't have multiple hermits. Okay. So, create personas, persona fusion. Let's do a, ne a network fusion with uh, the random garbage personas that I've got lying around. Now, how will this turn out? Because, yeah, we've got wonder trade executions. Okay, so we got a lean and seed heed or whatever. I might as well watch this cutscene, seeing as it's interesting. Oh, it doesn't even tell me what the other one is. Oh, that's funky. Oh, we ended up with this guy. I don't think I had this one. Maybe I got an Anubis. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I ever did. Are the results to your satisfaction? Yeah, actually, very much so. Nice. All right, let's do it again. Oh, we got to come back another day. Well, that sucks. 